Yeah, yeah. Wake up. Get out of bed. Come on. Still not awake yet? Get up. It's getting late. I expect my children to always stay positive. I sincerely hope they have a pleasant education, enjoy a pleasant school environment, and thereby a pleasant childhood. Family discipline provides them with the most basic values. That's why we insist that they have these tools and know how to use them well. I think every parent hopes his or her child will be better off than themselves. We're now like kites. Her feelings of happiness and sorrow are similar to that of the person flying the kite, which will directly affect our emotions. As a parent, I believe that other than loving her, I have a very important responsibility to allow her to take a better path. I wouldn't have my children go to any other place or country. I was very concerned when they left for Columbia International College. However, once I got to go there, and personally observe everything. I wasn't worried anymore. I understand, I understand that when a parent sends his or her child to us, they trust us to take care of that child. Since 1979, our school has pioneered the total care education system and has maintained a consistent record of success. When children go abroad to study, they happen to be at an age when the emotional, physical, and social aspect are at a critical development stage. They face a lot of challenges. And because they are international students, that means after school, they don't have a home to go back to. They go back to their rental apartments or they go back to their school residences and they have no family with them. That means they have special needs. In order to facilitate their special needs, the school has to be specially designed and give international students priority attention. 
and that's what Columbia International College is built on. With that special need in mind, with our special expertise in helping international students, we have developed total care education system. One of the challenges that students have when they come here is, is being away from mom and dad. And this is a great opportunity for the students to really kind of test themselves a bit and to really be able to feel comfortable with living all by themselves, living in a residence and getting ready for university. Total Care Education System is meant to best help the international students to adjust from the home environment to the university environment, which is quite different. We deliver Total Care Education through four distinct yet interrelated components. Total Learning, Total Living, Total Development, and Total Communication, as it addresses the academic, social, emotional, and physical needs of the students. You don't want to go off the table, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, better this time. Oh, much better. Mm -hmm. I always tell parents that they don't have to worry about the kids' uh, admission to university because under Columbia's total care education system, Columbia has an history of 100% admission to university since 1994. This is where we talk about energy crisis, so we need to use the wind. The position of the sun is also fixed. I've always felt that if we can maintain a very positive attitude, all along, I feel that we need to maintain a pleasant attitude to live and to learn, and especially for him to always be happy in embracing what he learns and at the same time nurturing his interests in other subjects. That is my greatest wish.
The total learning component ensures that our graduates will be successful in the North American education system. Total learning has been successful because of the academic supports that we have in place combined with the dynamic learning environment that we've created at the school. Uh, total care ensures the maximizing of every student's academic potential to achieve their academic goals. Okay, so it helps you make a decision for the future. We will talk about applications and how to apply to U of T as well. So I'll try to break down as much as possible and I will leave some time at the end for you to approach me and ask any questions um, that you have regarding U of T. Interestingly enough, the results of the total care education system is also quite amazing. Close to 50% of our graduates got admission to the number one university in Canada, and that is the University of Toronto. Close to 80% of our graduates go to the top seven universities in Canada. By any standard, by any measure, those are amazing results. Like every undergraduate student here, I have achieved a lot. I have learned so many things, not only chemistry, physics, or math formulas, but lesson about life. I wish you all the best in the future. The way from here to success are still pretty long. I know it's not going to be easy, but I promise you one thing, it is going to be worth it. After today, every one of us will go in a different direction different continent of the world to portray our dreams. There is no other school in Canada where we get more students in any one year than Columbia International College. We've observed the success rate of these students. Their graduation rate is higher than our regular students, which means that they go from first year to fourth year faster than our regular students. And since we draw students from around the world, from more than 70 countries, uh, that's one, one thirtieth of our students are now from Columbia International College alone, a far bigger number than any other school worldwide. We're very excited about this. We hope to be able to attract the best and the brightest from Columbia International College to come and study at U of T Mississauga. There are their leaders here, and we want more of them. Columbia International College helped me in getting to this double degree program. This program is really competitive and if I was applying directly uh, after graduation from my school back home, uh, I would seem to not have uh, marks for this program. CAC helped me uh, get really high marks like in high school. My transcript was really good. I got accepted into this program. The classes I took in CAC, they are extremely useful in the university. In CIC, they help a lot with uh, information about different uh, universities and different programs of study. After CIC, they people go like, in different universities around the world. The students who come here are, are a very selected group of people who truly want to study intensely. They're interested in working hard and learning things, in not doing the minimum to get a grade in a course, but in truly mastering the material. Of course, they're highly selected, so they're very smart, very qualified. Columbia International College definitely helped me a lot during my application. In general, they're just like very nice to me and very resourceful. It's like whenever I have questions or I need help on something, they're always there for me and backed me up, which I felt like was definitely very important for my college applications because it was definitely very stressful, but then I knew that there are these people who are like in, in support of me and then like they want me to get into good university and also I need to like try harder so I do not disappoint them. We pride ourselves on having excellent teachers and for us uh, quality teaching equals quality education. They have a love of and a passion for what they're doing. If you ask any of our teachers, they'll tell you that teaching for them is a calling. Um, many of our teachers have higher education degrees, masters or PhD. There's an overall commitment to offering a world-class education program. Our focus in the classroom is on creating a positive environment where every student can be successful. Uh, for creating opportunities for students to explore leadership, uh, character education, their, their group work skills, working in teams. Um, I think that's some of the best things about 
uh, our, our program here. It's really creating real life experiences for our students and connections to the outside world. Being at Columbia International College just makes you feel part of the international community and the most important thing was that the teachers would appreciate what you had to say because they saw value in what you had to say even as like if you were a non-Canadian or of a foreign um, background they wanted to learn from it and they thought it was very interesting that you had that different perspective. Taking the initiative to do their homework themselves, not have to worry about mom and dad telling them you got to do your homework, they have to take that initiative themselves. Just like university, just like in the workplace. And this is a great opportunity for the students to begin to take that responsibility. We allow them to start to have the responsibility uh, that they need to be successful in university, but we're here to make sure that they get on the right track. When I think of spirit at Columbia International College, I see the spirit of trying to challenge yourself to be better. Students here aren't just satisfied with where they are right now. They want to challenge themselves to be better academically. They want to challenge themselves to be better in a leadership role. They want to challenge themselves to be better socially. And you see students here who are always pushing themselves. And that's part of the culture here at Columbia. Concerned about safety. They want me to be safe. I think that's everything for every parent. We only have one child and we didn't want to take any risks. At Columbia International College, we have two academic buildings and five residence buildings. Campus safety is high on our priority list. We have room-to-room -room checks every evening at the student residence to make sure the student's safety is still in our taken care of. We have school buses that pick up the students at the residences every day and bring them to the academic buildings. We as well pick them up after school and take them back. We still have one of the best video surveillance systems in all our buildings where that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that every action is videoed in and around the school. Columbia International College, their total care provides parents like us with a great option, especially if the kids need to go out to a friend's house. I have to send fax or email to school to confirm, since there is a curfew, which lets me be rest assured. Definitely there was a lot of support from the house parents. They were very easy to talk to. In terms of that, it was a good home because they would take care of you and they'll check on you and they'll make sure that you're doing well. Total Living makes Columbia's residences a home away from home. We provide the best facilities and quality services to ensure our students' safety, security and convenience. Total Living also provides age-tailored activities and age-appropriate guidance to help our students think independently, make the right choices, focus on their studies, and have a little fun. Um, I'm a clinic nurse for Columbia International College. Uh, basically my job is to look after all of our student body uh, to take care of their health and well-being as a whole. If they need anything, we are also in residence every single day. If there's anybody that's sick or needs any sort of attention, we are here to attend to them. We're also located in the clinic uh, that they can come visit us anytime at school. Columbia, we have a cafeteria and a full operation kitchen at every one of my residences. We serve over 5,000 meals a day and they are Western and Eastern variety. Plus we have what we call our cafe in our school building that is a Canadian experience. This is your usual Canadian meal 
that is hamburgers, french fries, pizza, uh, paninis, salads, our food services, which is provided by Sodexo, which is one of the largest food services providers in the world, is well known for paying great attention to the nutritional values of their meals. This is very important to us because the students have to have a good, healthy menu and so that they can concentrate on their studies at Columbia International College. In all these years, I have never cried, but the moment the elevator doors closed, I lost control, although my wife was calm. At 18, that was the first time she was leaving us, and there are so many unknown factors that we cannot plan for or control. She's so far away. Certainly I miss her, especially the moment when she left. I missed her even more. After half a year, it slowly got better. Does the school know about a student's situation at school? More important is whether or not the school can communicate with parents in time. Total communication is an integral part of meeting the ASEP needs of our students here at Columbia International College. It is meant to facilitate the most effortless communication between parents, students and the staff at the school. We do this here through the use of technology and our multilingual liaison staff members. Each student is assigned a liaison staff member upon arrival at Columbia International College, and that liaison staff member helps to facilitate communication with parents right until graduation. I hope he can meet people from different countries and share experiences with them while he is at the boarding school, living independently. Hopefully through sports, they will develop a sense of team spirit. We feel that individuals have many areas for development. You cannot be limited to succeed in only one discipline, be it academics, sports or social interactions. There are many areas to focus on, so they become well-rounded individuals. Total development is taking experiential learning for all of our students. In student development, we try to supplement classroom learning through several opportunities for um, experiential learning outside of the classroom. We do that through clubs, trips, athletics, leadership, community service, and last but not least, special events. And students are involved in all aspects, whether it's skill building or planning. And our, our goal is to create students that become more confident, students of good character, and students that eventually become very good and responsible global citizens. I was born and raised in China and went to CIC in Canada at the age of 16. Now I study at the University of Washington, double majoring in anthropology and dance, and I'm about to go to graduate school at Yale University in September. At first, she applied to Canadian schools and got seven offers. Some schools also offered her scholarships, providing her with stability. Then Columbia International College helped her apply to American universities, and she got four offers of admission. 
we decided to choose a university with a good climate, a strong overall ranking, and one with a program for her specialized studies. We chose the University of Washington in Seattle. After her third year in school, she applied to Moscow State University and learned ballet, Russian, and met different people. I feel that it was the years at Columbia International College that gave her the courage and broadened her view. Before I went to Columbia International College, I didn't really know what to expect, but I knew that there were people from all over the world and a lot of countries that I'd never heard of, and I just really look forward to that experience. I met wonderful friends from all over the world, from Russia, Mexico, from Africa, to Southeast Asia. So when I talk to them and when I study about a different culture or read about it, I'm able to really put myself in their shoes and look at things from a different perspective other than where I am from. That experience really changed my world view and I just became so fascinated with cultures and I decided to continue studying about it in college. They have a leadership training program at Bark Lake, in which they participate with enthusiasm and cooperate with other students. This program increased her confidence, and it certainly improved her leadership skills. My name is Courtney Workman, and I work as the Community Service and Leadership Coordinator. Uh, this weekend, I am taking this lovely group of students uh, up to Bark Lake Leadership Retreat. At CIC, we really value leadership development and developing these students into positive global citizens um, that can make a difference in the world, the positive. Learning more about themselves, that we give them opportunities to develop skills that they can take in any situation. So not only just with their friends, but with their work, future workplaces, uh, with university. And we really think it's important for these students to learn what it's like to work in a group because that's what it's like when you get out into the workforce. Drifting in the warm air Weightless in the blue All the world beneath you What's out of your cloud? The water in front of you Soft and gray your in on the tall rooftops, gently bathing everything. <laughs> That's how to be a cloud. Grace Taller, she's a human resource expert. And what she says in here is this All the research today shows that emotional and social intelligence is a much higher contributor to your success than academics. So, our ASEP total care system and its academic social, emotional, and physical, is designed to create well-rounded students. Students who are not just academically good, but socially and emotionally as well. I hope my children experience and face the ups and downs in life with a positive mentality using positive values to overcome and persevere until the end. Bark Lake is an amazing place. We were doing low ropes, high ropes, and I really had to push myself because I've never expected that I would be able to do such a thing. Team building activities, it's teaching us a lot. Without a team, it won't work because with a team you'll do it so much easier, so much faster, and it's it's a good basis to have. So the students and staff went through a process of picking 11 character traits that they wanted to highlight. Character education and development is sort of taking the academic, the emotional, the, the, the social, the physical, and then you infuse it with uh, character to sort of create a holistic person that, that comes through an educational system. Today is 
the first day of Character Week, which is a national week to promote good character. So here at CIC, uh, we decided we really want to participate in this type of activity that encourages students to develop uh, better character and to practice it on a regular basis. We have to teach them to be responsible. We have to teach them to instill very good character in them. You instill that character into that child right from the child from childhood and you make sure the child grows with it. Once in a while the child will try going wayward, you know, and you have to correct the child. Yeah. So you really need to discipline the children when they are young. It's very important. grow the produce using volunteer help. We are really dependent on groups like Columbia International to come in and help us. The uh, produce is donated to the local uh, food banks who in turn dispense the uh, food to the general community. I think is just a fantastic thing. It allows the students to get out in the community and realize that there's a lot of value to helping the community and helping people who are in need. The two years she was in Canada, she participated in many community events, learning to show concern for others and the happenings around her. She learned to think about others besides only thinking about herself. I really believe that character development is extremely important in any high school, especially because we are preparing these students uh, for their future. We don't know where they're going to go, but we want to prepare them and give them tools that allows them to be successful wherever they go. Higher education gives me the opportunity to um, empower myself as a person uh, so that I can add to the world around me. One thing that was really inspiring about Roa was that her goals in life. So yes, yeah, she wanted to go to university, she wants to get a good job, but ultimately she was coming to Columbia to eventually return uh, back home uh, to help her own country. And there's this famous quote that says, don't ask what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. So that's something that I always ask myself, what can I do for Sudan? And now that question is even expanded to what can I do for, for Africa as a continent that I very much care about and see so much potential in. So the goal is to go home and to add to the betterment of my country and to help in making my country the great country that I know it has the potential to be. pretty positive um, with that, even though there are a lot of things happening around the world right now, might be really disappointing, but I think if we try to stay positive and work together as a team or as a family, a lot of the things will get resolved over time so we can be in a better place living. She said one thing, I can help many people. That is her care and responsibility. Being a person with a world view is a change that occurred while she was studying at Columbia International College for two years. When I was studying there, I was awarded as um, the global citizen. It was one of my favorite awards of all time because I feel like the term really defines me. Um, I'm not just a Chinese citizen. I feel like when I go to different places, I feel the responsibility of um, immerse myself with the local culture and the local people and really understanding them from their own perspective. And that always gives me hope. That makes me believe that the world can be a better place. I really want to bring some positive changes in the world. And now I think with my education and the knowledge I have, I will continue visiting different places and understand things from different perspectives. And hopefully in the future, I'm able to really spread the love and cultures to the world and help people understand each other better and just make the world a better place.
I think to be a global citizen, you have to be a person of character. The best we can give them outside of a university education preparation is to prepare them to be people that are able to go into the world, no matter where it is globally, and to be people that someone would look at and say, there is a person who is respectful, there is a person who is honest, there is a person who shows integrity. That's what will help those students succeed and that will push them towards success in life. And our character development program provides the basis for that to happen. Our ASAP Total Care graduates have the highest admission rate to top universities. And they are awarded an unprecedented amount of scholarship year after year. The achievements of our graduates prove that the ASAP Total Care education system is the best for international students. They've now graduated, one with a bachelor's degree, the other her masters. I'm a great proud mother. Right now I'm a bit excited but also a little nervous. Without Columbia I wouldn't actually make into U of T because it's pretty hard for for all the students to apply UFT in China. My father has chosen the right high school for me as a first step in Canada. It changed so many things. She learned self-discipline and arranged which university she wants to attend. I'm now very relieved, because she has changed a lot. She understands what she needs to do. I can't let go. I really miss everything. The relationship I built with the teachers is similar to that of a family, a second home. I never thought it would be this difficult. The education has been my number one priority and uh, bringing them to CIC really contributed. It's putting them on top, I would say so. Yes. For her to enter a top university in Canada and to complete her education is her dream that we want to help her realize. That is why we chose Columbia International College. We're all working hard towards achieving this common goal. Once they have completed their education, they will become independent and help the country develop, use their wings and soar to grow up and become someone who contributes to the country and the world.